Well, when I was in medical school, I um, had every intent since I was a child of being a pediatrician. However, when I did my pediatric rotations, um, I found I was a little too sensitive to all of the sad things happening to the children. Uh, and then I went into the surgical rotations, and um, being a mechanic is not my forte. So that's how I became an internist. God knew what he was doing. <laughs> my patient care philosophy is that a patient will tell you what is wrong with them if you take the time to hear them. They just don't know the maybe the labels to put on it. Um, and then also uh, my patient care philosophy is that we need to be as thorough as possible and take um, all complaints uh, seriously uh, because um, I think that's what people need is uh, to be heard and to be understood and they also expect a service and a big part of our service is we have to listen and play detective and diagnose um, in order to then take the right avenues to get to the diagnosis and the treatment. Uh, the most rewarding thing is to be involved in the lives of others, uh, hopefully to um, be able to be an instrument in their healing, but also I must say the most rewarding thing is many times patients, uh, uh, it's just a blessing to be with them. Uh, they teach me a lot, and uh, we enjoy the, the relationship, I think, is the most rewarding part of it. I think my patients might describe me as down-to-earth, um, hopefully thorough, um, laughs a lot, kind of, at times, at times silly, but then sometimes I can be stirring too. And um, I, I think I've been blessed that uh, a good number of patients have called me friend, and that's the biggest honor of all.